All right, I had a lot of people ask me about docking, how you can set up a similar dock, or just in general how I went about doing how I have it set up. Uh, it's object dock by star docks. Um, right here, we're just going to dock settings so I can show you guys exactly how I have it set up. Okay, I went into my docks here on the top edge right here. I have a zoom dock that's set up for only open, open applications. Right here on the edge, a zoom dock only for system tray. The bottom edge, bottom one, which is default, and right here my tab dock with multiple tabs and whatnot in it. Okay, first they start you off with the bottom one, which is all right, but not really that great until you customize it. Uh, basically, you go in here and create a dock, create another zoom dock, put it on the top, like I did right here. And if you go into that dock and its settings. Everything's basically, you know, I have hide Windows taskbar that way. Doesn't look like Windows no more. Um, what else do we have here? Okay, top of the screen. Uh, I have it automatically set a distance to the edge, which is pretty much uh, high width not in use. That way, if I use my start menu, the dock doesn't overlap the uh, start menu. Uh, dock contents, I have it set to all windows with uh, open windows. <clears throat> Basically, I drug and deleted all the standard ones I gave into you right there, and just left it alone by itself. That way, when you're using it, it looks like it's not even there, even though if you right click at the right spot, you can actually see it's there. But if you open a window, all of a sudden, there you go. That's pretty much easy enough. Tab dock's pretty self explanatory when you go into it. Alright, go into tab settings. And everything, you know, it's basically create it how you want to. It's really, you can't really mess it up for the most part. Um, one side note for Vista 64 users is you have to use another program besides Impulse and Object Doc Plus, which is called a Star Doc Central, in order to get the beta that's from 2007, which I'm not even going to get into that. But, uh, Let's see, Stardock. Yeah, Stardock Central. And when you load that up, <clears throat> right here, if you go into, at least mine was a miscellaneous, the object does object doc plus beta 190IB.020 from 2007. But uh, after you install this, basically uh, you'll be able to have the features that the 32 bit people have been enjoying since they bought it, which enables here your dock right here you can have and your start menu which I've been using um, if you do not want to do this you can still have your start menu without much hassle um, you won't have this though you will not have your system tray uh, for the start menu I use a program called Vista Start Menu it's a free program it's basically a start menu replacer and um, you can actually just load that in any one of your docks as a shortcut so create a shortcut you know I made the image look like the actual start menu image and then I actually just directed a shortcut to the actual program. And that way, one, it loads faster than the normal start menu does, and two, I get a way, way better start menu. So even if you're on the free version or pay for version, that little workaround will work. That way you can still have your start menu in there. And uh, I highly recommend the start menu. It's actually pretty damn customizable and makes it a lot easier to find stuff than the over, overly simplified Vista and Windows 7 start menu. XP users will probably love it once they switch to Vista or Windows 7 probably now and see the start menu sucks. Um, and that's pretty much about it. Um, oh, another thing I got asked questions about was uh, <clears throat> the docs right here with the stacklets. Um, I use stack docklet. I use one version 1.0, the final release of it, the stable version of it. Um, stack docklets 2.0, which has uh, special folders in it so you can do my computer as a stack. Only problem is I found with my case, I guess maybe because it's 64 and I'm using the beta 2007 version of Object Docs that it crashed out occasionally. I got weird errors, but uh, the programmer tells you that, or developer rather, uh, tells you that because it is a pre-alpha release. So once they get that up and running properly, then I'll definitely be switching to that because what I've seen of it, I really liked. But I mean, that's pretty much easy. You go into your directory of Object Docs, you'll see a part that says Doclets, and you just throw the folder in there and you're done. And right now, you hit Add. And look, stack docklet. When you add it in, it'd be a stack, and you just customize it like you would any other shortcut. Except for if you're not leading to an actual shortcut, you're leading to a folder. That way you display the contents of that folder. 
besides that, it's pretty much it. It's actually really not that hard at all. Um, I'll go through and make some other videos about the other little things I have in here, like what gadgets I use, what do they do. You know, there's one missing right here because it's got all my network information, which is not public knowledge as far as I'm concerned. Um, that's about it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching.